With the introduction of the five-year plans in the early 1960s, the livestock development programs continued receiving higher priority. More rigorous livestock production programs were initiated and reinforced from 1990s with the objectives of improving the nutrition, creating employment opportunities and increasing the income of the people. The introduction of increased livestock production in the country confronted several challenges such as lack of productive breed of livestock, basic infrastructures and their health care. In order to enhance the scale of livestock production, productive exotic breeds of livestock like Jersey and Brown Swiss cattle, pigs, poultry birds and fishes were introduced in the country by setting up the farms. These farms keep only limited numbers of superior animals for the improvement of the breeds. The selected Jersey and Brown Swiss bulls produced in government farms or at the farmers fields are supplied free of cost to the farmers. The Jersey and Brown Swiss bulls or their semen were crossbred with the local cattle for breed improvement. The success of the dairy production with the Jersey breed of cattle is mostly seen in the warmer regions of the country. The brown Swiss breed of cattle has gained its popularity amongst the farmers of the colder regions. Bhutanese farmers have then formed dairy associations where they sell milk and milk products like cheese and butter. Some of the associations produce and sell only milk. These associations have helped the farmers for an increased income and employment generation. The milk consumption habit of the people is also increasing. Bhutanese farmers with the support of the government have now even ventured into production of exotic brand of Gouda cheese. The Gouda brand of cheese is not only patronized by the local consumers but also has a lot of potential markets outside the country. Similar dairy farms are at its formation stage in different parts of the country. The recent developments of the small animal production and livestock sector are poultry, piggery and fishery production. Several piggery and poultry farms in the form of improved backyard and semi-commercial farms have come up in the farmers fields. The poultry farms take the form of layer farms and broiler farms. These enterprises are mainly adopted by the people in southern and eastern parts of Bhutan. The exotic poultry birds seen in Bhutan are brown layers and light white broilers.
The different exotic breeds of pigs found in the country along with the local breeds are Saddleback, Large Black, Large White, Hampshire, Duroc and Land Race. The farmers in the southern parts of Bhutan have started taking up warm water fishery farming. All these farms are a sort of backyard or semi-commercial and of very small scale found in individual farmers' fields. The different types of fishes raised are common carp, grass carp, silver carp, Chinese carp, big head and mirgaon. The piglets, pullets and fingerlings from the government farms are supplied to the farmers at highly subsidized rates. The other very important aspect of livestock production, the feed and fodder development is also initiated in the country. The National Feed and Fodder Development Office in Bumtang produces and distributes fodder seeds to the farmers along with technical assistance. It has already established a mini feed mill in eastern Bhutan in collaboration with the Regional Pig and Poultry Breeding Center in Lingbetong to formulate and process poultry and pig feeds with locally available resources. The government also leases out government barren lands to the farmers for the development of improved pasture lands. A very good example of government leased pasture land is the Shah Goguna Farmers Dairy Association Group. Similar pasture development activities are in the pipeline and will come up soon in different livestock potential areas in the country. With the introduction of various livestock production activities in the country, the health facilities for the livestock sector has also been strengthened. Up to date, diagnostic and clinical treatments are carried out by the livestock personnel at different levels. The livestock centers in the Georgs indeed cater to all the livestock needs such as healthcare, artificial insemination and other technical support. While introducing all the productive exotic breeds, it is also of immense importance to conserve the local native breeds of the country. The Royal Government of Bhutan has established a native Siri breeding farm and the open nucleus breeding schemes. This is to maintain the pure native Siri breed as a breeding stock for cross-breeding with the exotic cattle breeds. The conservation activities of local jakar type sheep from Bumtang and the bumbling type of horse in Trashyangsi are initiated in the country. Conservation and breeding of Mithun, the other local breed, 
is also being carried out in the country. The livestock development in Bhutan is at its initial stage. has a very potential market for livestock products. The Department of Livestock has embarked on to increase livestock production with economic viability and sustainability both in terms of production and marketing. The present backyard and semi-commercial farms are expected to expand into commercial farms in the future. Now, the farmers have started realizing the benefits of hybrid livestock farming and they are looking forward to expanding their farms in the near future.